Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, green and uh, yellow circles fully inscribed in a parallelogram uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, green uh, circle is uh, 9 centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, pi centimeter square. And furthermore, uh, O is the center of this uh, green uh, circle, whereas uh, this point uh, P, the center of this uh, yellow circle. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, parallelogram uh, A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, parallelogram A, B, C, D. And we can see that this uh, green circle is uh, fully inscribed uh, in this uh, parallelogram. In other words, uh, all uh, these uh, four uh, sides of this uh, parallelogram uh, are tangent uh, to this uh, green uh, circle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, parallelogram A, B, C, D is indeed a rhombus. And here's the definition of a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which uh, the opposite sides are uh, parallel. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this side is uh, parallel to this side. And likewise, uh, this side uh, is parallel to this side. And moreover, the rhombus uh, has all uh, four uh, sides equal. That means uh, all uh, these uh, four uh, sides uh, are congruent. And furthermore, uh, the diagonals of the rhombus uh, are uh, perpendicular bisector of each other. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram, here we got these uh, two diagonals and they intersect each other at this uh, point P and this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, is equal to this segment. Likewise, uh, this segment uh, is equal to this segment. So therefore, if we draw these uh, two diagonals, BD and this another diagonal uh, AC, then this uh, angle is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's make an observation. One more thing uh, that these uh, two circles uh, are tangent to each other at uh, this point. And let's recall this uh, crucial fact, uh, the centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, this center O, this center P and this uh, point of uh, contact uh, lie on the very same line. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, of this uh, green uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square. And in our case, uh, this uh, green circle area is uh, 9 pi. So therefore, I can write uh, 9 pi equals to pi r square. Let's divide both sides by pi. So we can see pi is gone over here and here is gone as well. So r square turns out to be 9. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, uh, our radius uh, turns out to be 3 centimeter for this uh, green uh, circle. So thus the green circle uh, radius uh, turns out to be 3. And now let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle. We know the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, pi. So therefore, we are going to fill in the formula once again. So that is going to be pi equals to pi r square. Let's divide both sides by pi. So therefore, uh, our r square value turns out to be 1. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius uh, 1 uh, is for uh, yellow circle. Thus, the radius of this uh, green circle turns out to be 3 and the uh, yellow circle uh, radius is 1. And here in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point of tangency F. And likewise, I have connected this center P with this uh, point of tangency E as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem, the angle between the radius uh, 
and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees and here we can see this is our radius for this green circle and this is the tangent line and likewise uh, this is the radius uh, of this yellow circle and this uh, is a tangent line as well so no wonder all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, green circle and we know this is uh, 3 so therefore uh, this uh, radius is 3 units and likewise uh, this uh, OF uh, is the radius uh, of this green circle as well so therefore this is going to be 3 centimeter as well and we can see that this uh, is the radius of this uh, yellow circle so this is going to be 1 since the radius uh, is uh, one for the yellow circle and likewise uh, this another radius uh, is uh, one centimeter as well and likewise uh, this uh, EP is the radius of this uh, yellow circle uh, again so this is going to be one centimeter and now we are going to calculate uh, this segment uh, let me call uh, this segment as uh, X so therefore this uh, whole uh, length uh, OA is going to be 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus this uh, segment X. So therefore if we add them that is going to give us uh, 5 plus X that is the length uh, OA. And now let's focus on this uh, length uh, PA that is going to be 1 plus uh, X. So therefore our PA length turns out to be 1 plus X. Then we can uh, conclude that this uh, tiny triangle uh, AEP is uh, similar to this uh, bigger right triangle uh, AFO according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since uh, these are our 90 degree angles and moreover uh, this angle uh, is in common between these uh, both uh, triangles so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of uh, I can put uh, E P divided by P A is going to be equal to O F divided by O A ratio now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, of these uh, values EP in our case is 1 divided PA length uh, is uh, 1 plus X so I can write uh, 1 plus X uh, equals to OF length uh, is uh, 3 divided by OA length is uh, 5 plus uh, X let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply if we cross multiply we are going to get uh, 3 plus uh, 3x equals to 5 plus uh, x. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, 3 and x from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our 2x uh, value turns out to be equal to here x and negative x is uh, gone. So it's going to be equal to 2. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our uh, x value turns out to be equal to 1 so therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be equal to 1 so therefore we can see that our this uh, AP length is going to be 1 plus 1 uh, equals to 2 and likewise uh, this uh, OA length uh, is going to be 3 plus 1 uh, plus 1 uh, plus 1 is going to give us uh, 6 and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EAP and I have copied it down uh, over here and we can see our uh, smallest leg uh, EP is uh, 1 and our longest leg uh, AP is uh, 2 so therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, is a special 30 60 90 triangle because the longest uh, leg uh, is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg so therefore the angle opposite to this uh, smallest side uh, is going to be 30 degrees 
So therefore, our this uh, angle uh, EAP turns out to be 30 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, right triangle uh, ADO and this uh, other right triangle uh, ABO are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to side 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 congruency theorem. Since uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, of the rhombus uh, are equal in length and these uh, segments uh, of the diagonals uh, are equal as well. And this side uh, OA is in common. So therefore we conclude uh, that uh, this uh, angle is going to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, ABO. This uh, angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees since the sum of the angles in a triangle must be 180 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. We can see that this uh, whole angle is going to be 30 plus 30 is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. And this angle uh, is uh, 60 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, third angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. Since the sum of the angles uh, in a triangle uh, are uh, 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABD is an equilateral uh, triangle since it has all uh, equal uh, angles. So therefore all its uh, side length uh, AD is going to be equal to this side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, BD. And in this uh, next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle AOD where the side length uh, of this uh, right triangle uh, AO is uh, 6. And now let's recall uh, so Cartwa and we are interested in uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees uh, equals to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case uh, our this uh, side AD is our hypotenuse and this uh, side uh, AO is uh, our adjacent. So therefore our cosine of 30 degrees is going to be equal to our adjacent side is 6 divided by hypotenuse is AD. And we know that cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore this equation is going to become square root of 3 divided by 2 equal to 6 divided by AD length. Let's go ahead and flip uh, both sides uh, over. So therefore left hand side could be written as 2 divided by square root of 3 equals to AD divided by 6. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 6 uh, to isolate AD and we can see this 6 uh, and 6 is gone. So therefore our AD length turns out to be 2 times 6 is going to give us 12 divided by square root of 3. So therefore our AD length turns out to be 12 divided by square root of 3. So thus our this AD length turns out to be 12 divided by square root of 3. So therefore we conclude that this side length AB is going to be 12 divided by square root of 3 centimeter as well since uh, both of these uh, sides are equal in length. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, AB times uh, sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, these are our side lengths A and B and C is the angle between them. And in our case, our side lengths are 12 divided by square root of 3. And our angle in between them is 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So area of this triangle ABD is going to be a half times 12 divided by square root of 3 times 12 divided by square root of 
3 times sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees and we know our sine of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and here at the denominator square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us uh, 3 so therefore we got uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 12 times uh, 12 divided by 3 and then times the sine of 60 degrees is a square root of 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side this turns out to be 12 times the square root of 3 centimeter square so that's the area of this triangle ABD turns out to be 12 times the square root of 3 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, parallelogram uh, a b c d and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle uh, a b d and this uh, triangle uh, b c d are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to symmetry so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be equal to the area of uh, this triangle so therefore the area of this uh, parallelogram uh, a b c d is going to be two times the area of this uh, triangle uh, a b d and we know our uh, triangle uh, a b d area is uh, 12 times square root of 3 so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, 12 times uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore the area of this uh, parallelogram turns out to be 24 times uh, square root of 3 centimeter square so that's the area of this uh, parallelogram a b c d turns out to be 24 times the square root of 3 centimeter square and that is going to be equal to 41.57 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye